smells so good. So good. Do you ever just make a cup of coffee that just tastes better than the other ones you make? Or is that just me? Because this is a really good cup. I also have to have cookies with my coffee, probably because this is how I started drinking coffee as a little girl, so it's just kind of like stuck. But I always have the Biscoff, not sponsored. Um, but just love, this is the best cookie with coffee I've ever personally had. I always double my cookie and I dunk. Mmm. Mmm. Oh need coffee every day, but girl, when I need it, I need it. So I hope that you're having a really great morning or whatever time it is that you're watching this video. I am finally back from vacation, so this is technically my first weekend back from vacation because I spent last Saturday driving 12 hours in which I don't even want to talk about that so not here I was so busy preparing for my vacation that I really barely got any time to go to Dollar Tree because I was trying to pre-film a ton of videos in which have been I've been putting up for you guys and anyway so the whole point is I finally went to Dollar Tree when I filmed the what's new which I'll link at the end of this video you can just click on it, it will take you straight to the video in case you didn't know that. So I always put like my favorite current videos at the end and then you can just click on one of the two and then it will take you straight to that next video. Anyway, so I was filming the what's new in the Dollar Tree and of course I didn't just film what's new, I also bought stuff because I never walk away from Dollar Tree without buying something. It's, all, it's a sickness I think, but it's a happy sickness. So. I was so happy and surprised again that there was brand new stuff everywhere. I honestly don't know where to start. I haven't even like sorted this bag whatsoever. So, oh my goodness. I, I even almost forgot what I hauled. <laughs> so the first thing is, I'm gonna start with this. This is called Little Trees and it's an air freshener. This is a brand air freshener. So this is gonna be at Walmart, probably Target, and even other stores like Home Depot, Lowe's, things like that, you know? <clears throat> and definitely like automotive stores as well. I'm sorry about my voice. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to spend too much time editing out my little like, you know, clearing my throat and coughing, so I'm really sorry about that. But anyway, Little Trees is an air freshener, and it's, um, this is a Bayside Breeze. I have. I couldn't even really truly smell it, but I just know I'm going to love this. And it was $1. If you look this up, this retails for about three, even more than $3 at Walmart alone. So I was really impressed to find this at Dollar Tree. I did not find any other scents, but I'm gonna be on the lookout now because the kind of car wash that I get, I never get the most, the higher up expensive one because that one comes with like a little air freshener and I never get that one. So I never get air fresheners in my car when I get it washed. So <clears throat> I'm definitely going to put this in my car. I, sh I should have organized this because like I'm trying to save. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing to be honest. <clears throat> oh my gosh. This is such an exciting haul. All right. I'm just going to keep going. So first off this bag. Now, we've, I've been hauling tote bags for quite some time, and I think that this is probably one of my favorites that I've ever seen, not to mention the size of this bag. So the width is about the same, but the depth of this bag is pretty tall. I love this, and I think the pattern is really cute. It's very summertime fun. And you guys, I have some heavy stuff in here and it is holding it like a champ. I mean, heavy. I have books in here, okay? So, <clears throat> so first of all, the bag. Now let's go ahead and see what's in the bag. So let's start off with some gift bags because gift bags are new and I'm so excited. I feel like gift bags don't come out new as often as I would personally like, but I'm just high maintenance when it comes to gift bags. 
but girl, they finally put out even more colors of these gift bags and why I love these so much, a couple reasons. One, you get two for a dollar, 50 cents each for a bag, that's crazy. Like I mentioned in my what's new, go travel to Target, see how much those gift bags are. They're expensive. And not only that, but these are perfect for decorating on your own. You have, you're like working with a complete blank canvas and you can just do it up and you could use these for themes. Like these automatically, when I look at these, I think My Little Pony, I think Lisa Frank, um, I think neon, like a neon party, um, but obviously as separate standalone bags, they're just great bags. And this purple is everything, it's not matte. So I wanna point that out. So they have these in matte and now they have it in like a satin finish. I don't think this is a gloss, I think this is like a satin. And here is this beautiful color and then this hot pink. I've never seen these colors. These are definitely brand new. Also brand new, again, they're putting out this like, <clears throat> excuse me, this faux snake skin. I think I have these in a bunch of colors. I don't remember if I have it in this purple color. So I feel like instinctively this purple color is new, but in case I'm wrong, I'm sorry. The inside is not really lined. Um, that's the downfall. I wish it would have been lined. With some, with some sort of like crazy kooky pattern, like maybe polka dots or something, I don't know. But I think that would have been really beautiful. And not stopping there with bags. Oops. I found some new prints. Now, I, you know, you know when I see cute little bags like this, it it's like, it gives me life. I grew up in the 80s, it's very like, somewhere in the long lines of Lisa Frank. Look how cute the side is. <clears throat> May your birthday be magical. And of course, I have a little niece, so now I have like a complete purpose for these cute girly little bags. I, you know, my whole life I've been surrounded by girls. So I've never really been surrounded by boys. And so I guess I just tend to always gravitate towards princess and little things like this. But look how cute this bag is and the front does have a glitter aspect <clears throat> it says princess on here oh, so pretty little butterflies gorgeous and then this one I thought was really cool because mermaids seem to be very trendy everyone seems to still really be loving that it says you are mermazing the tail has glitter and the little tag is a starfish. The back is plain, there's no glitter on the tail. And let's see the side. I have not seen the side. Oh, it's just the same, not bad. I love the, the handle, it's purple. I feel like this is gonna be a long video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I know a lot of you really love long videos. Um, anyway, so as you saw, if you did see my what's new at Dollar Tree, back to school is out. <clears throat> I'm so excited. I'm so super excited, like I mentioned, because it, it is like the gateway to then fall, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Like I'm so excited about it. I really have high expectations from Dollar Tree. I feel like they let me down a little bit last year with the gift bags for Christmas because the year before was fire. So I'm a little, I'm a little, you know, apprehensive about it, wondering if they're going to try to you know, kind of do what they did in 2016 because that was everything. But anyway, I digress. Uh, so back to school is out. And even though some of this I actually got for myself and not for my daughter because she's a, she's gonna be a senior. She's not, she's not really into stuff like this. She really likes plain, very plain binders. And she also likes the five star brand. So, um, but I thought that these were too cute and they're perfect for planning and it is your opportunity if you want to get started in planning, now's probably the time to get some stuff at Dollar Tree because they have really cute patterns that could, you know, be for women, not just for kids. Like this one. Like how gorgeous is this little binder? This little floral, it's very shabby chic. And then the inside is lined a baby pink. I'm impressed by that. Uh, I don't think this is the best quality binders that you're ever gonna get on the face of the planet, but 
I feel like if you definitely treat it very well and gently, you could get a really long time use out of these. So here's the next one. You guys know how I am. I always tend to gravitate towards the cutesy things. I don't really know why, but I thought that the clouds were too adorable to pass up on. They are one inch binders and this one is lined in blue. Perfection, if you ask me. Just stunning and you do get pockets, so that's great too. The other great thing that I love about Dollar Tree is that they do stuff like this. They start putting out even more items that match binders or just things in general, right? So they have the composition notebooks. They probably have pencils and pens that match this. They probably have a folder that matches this. And I love and appreciate that they do this. So of all the composition notebooks, I found this one and thought it was the cutest one. So just plain. And then of course you can write something there and it matches this binder. Now the colors are off a smidge. This one looks more green, this one looks more blue, but it's fine. Honestly, have zero idea why I hauled these, but these were in my What's New, and these are the two pencil little pouches or holder pencil case that I thought was the cutest. I just, I could not walk away and not pick this up. I just couldn't do it. I love anything that has sweets and I love the yellow flap. I, you guys know yellow's probably like my favorite color now. I didn't even realize it until now because I'm still on this yellow thing. And this horse is just super adorable. Definitely reminds me of uh, My Little Pony, or not My Little Pony, Rainbow Bright. And then it has the purple. You pull this out and you got this cute little case. These would actually be really cute. I know a lot of you love doing like friend mail and pocket letters and things like that. This would be completely adorable to send as like a little pocket, like a friend mail gift. You put maybe some cute little things in here and then you close it up and you send it on its way. And it's just a great size, you know, so that shipping isn't gonna cost you an arm and a leg. So, love this. All right, so I found some new stickers and I'm super excited. So this sticker set has been around, but I haven't seen this particular pattern. And it's these little shaker pop-up bubbly stickers, but these have the donuts. I was just like, what? And then to top it off, they have it in the little packaging print as well. I thought that was a really cute touch, but these are so adorable. Love you this many sprinkles. Is that not adorable? You are so sweet. Treat yourself. So I absolutely love these. I'm actually gonna personally use these for my daughter's little senior book that I'm putting together. I've been mentioning it over on my vlog. I really need to get on that. I am gonna share that video with you guys or parts of it because it is gonna be a pretty personalized book, but I will show you how I'm gonna put together. It's gonna be basically <clears throat> an alive book, if you will, meaning that it's gonna take me a whole year to complete it because I'm going to basically use it as a scrapbook of her senior memories and so yeah so that way she can kind of take it to college with her in case she feels like homesick or something and she has those memories anyway so I think these will be really cute in that and then I found new stickers this one is really beautiful I'm so impressed I just don't even know what to say about it I love this little like pen marker it's like a drop pen that you see on your iphone on like maps i thought that was cute sunglasses the banners and then this one was really cute because it is a little galaxy theme love that and then this one has like a um tie-dye slash galaxy theme in here as well. You can definitely see some galaxy aspects. So really cute. I'm loving these. And then I did pick up some pens. So I have to say that pens haven't really been impressing me too much, especially not 2015. I think they carried these one pens. If you go back and watch my videos, I was, anytime I saw them, I'd buy them. And honestly, I don't have that many left because I love those pens so much, I ran out of ink. Now, they are name brand pens that you can buy at Walmart, but the fact that they were selling them for so cheap at Dollar Tree was insane. So I'm still always on the lookout for some good pens. And I found these, these are Pro Marks. 
Um, they're 1.0. So I think how pen writing works is that the smaller the number, the finer the tip. The larger the number, the thicker the tip. And I like a thicker writing pen. I don't like thin writing pens because I tend to like keep my pen on the paper and I don't really lift my hand up. And if you don't lift your hand up that often, fine pens are gonna make you look really sloppy. And also they did have pro marks in a 0.7. So if you do like fine tip, they actually had these in different styles. So definitely check that out and make sure you're paying attention to this, you know, this number here. And then they, Sharpie, Sharpie's at Dollar Tree. So typically they have other colors that are not black and black is the, the best Sharpie color um, for organization and things like that. But this is pretty close because I think this is navy. I think it's navy. It's really kind of hard to tell. That cap definitely looks navy to me. It looks black to you from what I'm looking at on the camera. But in person, this is navy. All right, next, this is pretty random, but I got this little uh, aerial card. Now it says, happy fourth birthday. I don't know anyone that's turning four, but I do wanna do some sort of planner spread with aerial. And I thought that this image I could probably use for that. And so I picked it up. I went ahead and got an envelope because it comes with the card and I could probably use the envelope for something else. And I also got this, uh, these six notes. And again, this is Hallmark. So this retailed for about $3.89 and probably even higher at some other stores, but the cute little typewriter with the gold or the red foil heart. And then I have no clue on earth why I bought these, like no idea, but in my what's new, I showed you guys these little app, um, Ever After High books and I got them. So these two little books, um, are actual like little novels. Okay, so these are actually little books. I don't think I'm gonna read these. Again, I have no idea why I did this, but as you can see, this one retail for $11.88, and this book probably did the same thing at Walmart. So probably in other stores, it would have been way more expensive than this. And I just could not believe this. I think the little covers are just so adorable. And if they had this when I was a kid, I loved reading as I was as a kid and obviously I still do now and I wanna be a writer. So I would have just died over this. By the way, as a kid, I read Arl Stein. Who remembers those? Oh my God, I, ooh, makes me wanna read those again. I loved Arl Stein. And then I read um, all of the, uh, the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe series, uh, Narnia, the Chronicles of Narnia, I read all of those. And I also loved Nancy Drew. Um, I think I read some Babysitter Club books, but really I was always stuck on Arl Stein. Like, that's pretty much all I read as a preteen and teen. Anyway, so if they would have had these, I probably would have just eaten this up. And this is really interesting because this is a sleepover party planner book. I think this is just crazy. I think, again, I just, Oh my goodness, if we would have had stuff like this. And then like, look, you can just plan your little party and things like that. So anyway, uh, let's see. Oh, and then I found this book. I have no idea how you guys are gonna feel about this. Some of you may not care. Some of you may just fawn over the moon over this. But this is a Rachel Zoe uh, book and living in style. Shoes, shoes are my thing. And I really got this because the book is just gorgeous. I don't think I'm really gonna spend time reading it per se. I'll definitely look through the photos, but the book itself, the picture, the, the cover, it just really kind of goes with my decor. Uh, I feel like this has a really cute, it could probably go for modern, a modern house, but I feel like it could fit in like a country cottage theme as well. I know that sounds crazy, but I feel like it does. I can't even imagine what this retailed for. It says $28 US, 31 Canada. So that's insane. I believe that. $1 at Dollar Tree. So let's go ahead and move on. I did pick up some socks and I got these little watermelon 
I think the watermelon is probably some of the cutest socks I've seen come through Dollar Tree. And these are for my daughter. And this print is really pretty too. too. Why couldn't I just say that word? I love the color combo. And, oh, here's another pair. Look at this one. What? The polka dots. Everything. Actually, I think I'm going to keep this set for myself. So, I think the blue little hearts is really cute, but this polka dot is just... I'm into it. I thought I didn't like polka dots, but apparently I do. All right, and new candles. So, this one is a guava and raspberry. Look at the size. Not bad for Dollar Tree. The... The wax is filled to the top, which I love. And let me tell you, this smells divine. Absolutely love this candle. And this blew me away. Look at the size of this candle at Dollar Tree. Typically, you get this. And look at this. Never have I seen a candle, a scented candle, this big at Dollar Tree. And this is a vanilla bourbon. That's what it says right here. Oh, Ladies, I mean, this is fall right here. This just smells fantastic. I should have got another one, to be honest. And I probably will when I go back. And, oh, I did get some folders. So part of the school thing, I found these. Now, these were not in the school section. So again, be looking through the entire store. These were actually in the aisle where you check out. Stand tall. And the front has glitter. The, flat, the back is plain. And then you do have, I love the white. I think that's really pretty. They could have gone pink, but I really love the white. And this one says, stay wild. Again, glitter. And then also a white inside. Beautiful, they actually had a third one. I didn't really like it. I don't remember what it looked like, but I just remember thinking, no, not into it. And they have 2019 calendars. So they haven't come out with anything that we all tend to gravitate towards for planner stuff. They had like your typical paradise. They had um, like flowers, I think, and things like that. And then they had some that were more geared towards kids like this one, but this is strawberry shortcake. What? What? And then everyone, everyone strawberry shortcake land is in here. I'm just... I love this. I'm not going to lie. I love this. I'm definitely going to use this because, again, this just brings back memories for me. And I was so impressed. They also had Care Bears, and they had a third one that was also 80s. Um, I think I'm going to go get those, too. But anyway, so they have 80 calendars at Dollar Tree. All right, so first I'm going to start off with all of this new 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 now i already have enough of these as it is but this was a set i just could not pass up personally i probably don't even have everything in the set i feel like i'm missing a notebook but i got three i feel like i'm missing a blue i feel like i'm missing whatever blue was but here's a cactus a crown jewels so again this seems to be a brand that keeps coming back to dollar tree now very consistently so I'm very excited about it. So the cactus and then a pineapple and a flamingo. And can we talk about the color choices that are perfection? Right? So it makes me curious about what blue was. If you know what blue was, comment down below. But then they also have like the little matching um, notepads and list pads. So this one says take note and this one has... The cactus on here so as you can see this is kind of like one whole little thing together and I'm wondering if I'm missing anything else again comment down below if you know and then for the pink I have again the list pad the sticky note gorgeous and then I have the yellow as well ASAP I love that I am digging this yellow, digging it. And then here's the blue again, don't have the notebook. It must be a unicorn. It's gonna be my guess. So really sad that I don't have it. So I'm definitely going to be on the hunt, but obsessed. I'm really glad I got these. And 
Now let's dive into the very final product. I don't know why I have two of these because they definitely looked like different colors in the store. I feel like I probably grabbed the wrong color, but are you shooketh? I mean, what? The little lobster clasp. Thank you guys for those who told me this was a little lobster clasp and or clip or whatever. And oh my goodness, the quality of this is outstanding. I feel like this is something we would see you know, like uh, Michaels carries keychains and things like this for well over $7. And this is $1. This is stunning. These would be perfect for backpacks, purses. Uh, this would be perfect for your planners. Um, this yellow is everything. And then again, these were definitely two different colors. I think I grabbed the wrong one. I think there was like a greener version. I'm not sure but I'll have to pay more attention when I go back. But that's pretty much it. That's it, you guys. I I feel like this haul was very, very exciting for me. I love everything in it. I think I'm gonna definitely spend some time today in my craft room and reorganize and start getting started on, start getting started on, oh my God. Get started on my daughter's senior year book. I just need to figure out what book I'm gonna be using or like what journal I'm gonna be using and things like that. But definitely check out my vlog channel if you wanna follow me, do any of those things. That's pretty much it for this video. It's a pretty long one. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you're watching this when I put this up, I hope that you're having a very relaxing day and I'll see you really soon. Okay, bye guys.